welcome to social research insights my name is kamakshi masanuru i am principal consultant at social research insights uh, social research insights is not a business organization it is just a freelance uh, training outfit we provide training on uh, data science analytics and iot we have a lot of content online uh, all the content is free absolutely free uh, however we have a small request uh, please consider us calling for some technical talks maybe for workshops conferences seminars something like that maybe you are uh, if you are working in academic institutions um, faculty development programs if you are in industry maybe staff development programs and etc uh, this is in fact one of the um, video demonstrations which belongs to series of presentations uh, related to healthcare analytics uh, in my previous video i demonstrated gave a small demo as how to model some healthcare information systems data using donabedian model the donabedian model is uh, highly sought after models one of the highly sought after models uh, to study uh, that helps us uh, that helps the industry to study the improvements in service quality in hospitals uh, donabedian model has got three important blocks i explained everything rather very short uh, i provided very short description to the model we have certain important variables uh, few of them are structure process outcomes so the hypothesis goes like this structure leads to process process leads to outcomes it is just a philosophy uh, espoused in various domains of knowledge like uh, we talk about the systems approach model in which we have the income pro input process and output in the same fashion donabedian model is an adaptation to the common philosophy of the systems approach so i explained as how to model the data uh, to fit this model uh, and i explained the data Uh, by interpreting the interpreting the relationships among the variables so let me take you to my this is the analysis that we did in the previous uh, episode that is uh, uh, we imported the data by using the function read csv later we performed uh, we instance i mean i performed uh, cross tabulations and after that i have shown how to uh, get the summary statistics for the data set and we need this library uh, because uh, there is a wonderful function polar pylr which stands for the parallel odds logistic regression this function helps us to fit the data and assess if this data really explains the donabedian model or not anyway that there are three parts in this analysis first fitting next assessment of the model next prediction so i am skipping the assessment of the model if you are interested you can do that but i am straight away going to the prediction by assuming that the data fits in my previous demonstration i explained about the relationships and later i i've shown you the method as how to obtain the p values along with the confidence intervals and uh, assess the uh, the type of the relationship so we found that the relationships among the variables that is the variables are outcome structure and process rather insignificant however they have some positive uh, what is say the relationships i mean uh, in other words i can say the structure and process both of them have the positive impact on the outcomes but uh, just because of that we cannot say that the relationships are uh, significant and i've also told you to what extent the the degree of influence uh by calculating the uh odds ratio by using a special function called exp uh please go through my previous uh, demonstration in order to understand how to model the data by using the parallel odds logistic ratio in short it is known as uh, ordinal logistic regression why we are using ordinal logistic regression because our dependent variable has got more than two uh, responses and independent 
uh, variables each of them have two responses uh, and moreover the data is categorical so that is a best scenario for the ordinal logistic regression in this video I'm going to show you how to predict the responses so so in short I can say that uh, we are going to predict the responses of the dependent variable that is outcomes uh, based on the structure uh, response for both structure and process given the model information in certain object called fit so this fit is actually user defined uh, it is defined by me uh, you can put any other name as best as this uh, this is user defined name and all the model information is there in the fit so what we are going to do we are going to use a beautiful function called predict and uh, this is just like predict uh, over the fit which is an object in which we have all the model information and we need to have a new data so in machine language we have a culture uh, that we split the data into two important fractums and the first half is called as the training data and second half is called the test data or train data test data we train the uh, we use the train data training uh, we use the first half of the data set to train the data and see if the model can explain the data set if the data can explain the model or not, or data fits the mo model fits the data vice versa and the uh, the second half is used for the testing but here we used the entire actual data for the modeling and now I'm going to create some fictitious data uh, by using some wonderful mechanisms um, available to simulate the data sets using our programming language so this is actually uh, a statement that which helps us to uh, simulate the data sets I created a new data set for prediction in the same fashion as we have the let me show you that uh, actual data this is a D I think you can remember the name of the actual data is DF and this is actual data we have 27 records in this data uh, so now what we are going to do we are going to come up with the same type of data 47 records here you can see same type of data by simply si using the simulation functions in which I have a function called sample uh, same levels that we have in the actual data for outcomes and take I'm going to create 10 records by using an argument called replace which means each time R encounters these levels I would like to ensure that there will be exactly 3 instead of 1, 2 and less than 3. So that is taken care of by this particular argument called replace. And in structure we have only 2 responses. So I am going to s make a variable structure by, s by, by using these 2 responses. By using these 2 functions sample and replace uh, over the, the actual responses and the process is another variable that which we have in the actual data and it has two uh, levels and we are going to so all these three variables uh, each of 10 records will be created at the end of this uh, let, let's execute this yes now we created the new object new df new df so here I think we should be having yeah correct we have the three uh, same as in the form of uh, actual data set not cured, indifferent, cures, improper, proper, fair, unfair, something like that. Now we can go ahead. We don't need the full uh, here actually. I'm again creating another new object, prediction df. I mean, a, a separate data frame for prediction. I'm going to use a function called cbind, which helps us to bind the columns and and finally makes it makes it as a data frame that we don't want. I use only the uh, very raw function that is predict which is very much useful to predict the uh, model so in which we have certain arguments need to be supplied the fit is the object in which we have the model information and new df is the new data frame uh, we created right now uh, in order to make use of it for the predictions and type is the probabilities which means I am requesting our programming language to return me the probabilities instead of frequencies so let me copy only this part of the statement and paste now this time you just have to press enter not the control enter as we do in the script the left top corner so press enter 
now we got the the results from the from this particular statement predict pr pr predict in which we have predict these are the predicted results for the simulated data set or the or the I say the fictitious data and now we need to um, we need to compare this uh, now how our prediction is uh, really uh, going on in our analysis so now what I do I just um, open the new data set or data frame and I just uh, keep it just as I said into this uh, prediction results and let us compare what is happening in our prediction so if my if the response for structure is improper and the response for process is unfair this is I think uh, the most unwanted uh, response from the patients okay the healthcare system should be proper and it should be fair whereas here, here let us assume that the new incoming patient uh, is likely to give this type of responses then how likely that we end up with and what is the probability to attain not cured indifferent and cured something like that we are requesting uh, the R to return the probabilities for all the three responses for outcomes so let us go to the first record in in the in the test data we have improper for structure unfair for process now if that is the case then the probability it is 45 percent likely that the that it is cured 29 percent likely that it is indifferent and the responses uh, will be indifferent 25 percent likely that the response will be not cured so this is actually the forthcoming data i mean the future data if the data is logging into the server in this fashion or a new patient who is just uh, walking into the hospital if he happened to uh, uh, i mean the new uh, patient who is leaving the hospital after treatment if his response, his or her response happen to be improper for structure, unfair for process, then it is more more highly likely that, rather I should say, it is highly likely that the disease is getting cured. Uh, so that is, uh, I think, uh, unacceptable uh, response, right? If the structure is improper and unfair, then it is highly cured. So this might be some hospital. The data might be from some hospital where the patient don't mind about the structure and process, but they just mind about cured, and that is what is happening in the data. Now let's go to the improper and fair. So this is a bit process fair, but the structure is improper. Then what are the probabilities? So it is still cured. It is highly likely that the so structure need not be important. Uh, I mean, it's a global observation. I can make that structure. Despite of the structure, the process tend to influence the outcomes. Let's go ahead and s uh, and uh, gather more evidence for our observation. This is improper, this is improper, 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 unfair, and we already know that it is highly likely that it is getting cured. Let us pick up a record where the process is unfair and the structure is uh, proper. Yeah, here we have the eighth record. Process is unfair and the structure is proper let's see how likely that uh, yeah it is highly likely that it is not getting cured so we now can confirm that the structure is not at all important but the process is very important so the treatment appears to be very very important instead of the structure so how do we define the structure it is just a characteristics of the healthcare system and the process is actually what is performed or what, uh, what is going to be performed on the patient uh, in other words I can say the process is treatment the structure is infrastructure so the infrastructure does not appear to be important for the for the hospitals but uh, process the treatment uh, need to be very fair of course that's that that makes a phenomenal sense isn't it a profound sense to the to the context uh, so outcomes straight away depends on the process and uh, structure might not be important for the hospitals I mean in the, as far as this data is concerned and then for this scenario for this context the patients don't mind about the structure but they mind about the process and the outcomes are strictly connected to the to the process but not to the structure so infrastructure is not important uh, here in this uh, context uh, so to conclude I can say that the relationships are there are some positive relationships however they are not significant 
and uh, the uh, after the study of the donavarian model through this data which is gathered from some healthcare information systems in some certain hospital the data shows that certain wonderful relationships but they are not significant the treatment appears to be very important compared to the infrastructure and the process influence the outcome so donavarian models uh, seems to be uh, highly valid while determining the quality of the healthcare services thanks for watching this video uh, i hope you understand uh, well and uh, if you like my video please press like but kindly don't press like subscribe to my video channel stay tuned for the new content thank you